Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. I'm going to get into the energy of the cards and see what message Spirit has for us today. But keep in mind, collective, this is a general reading which may or may not resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment, take what does, and leave the rest behind. The Holy Spirit, what are the messages you have today for the collective energies, please? This lips. Yeah, withdrawn. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages you have for the collective energies? Oh, 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 oh. I have withdrawn and clarity. Someone could have withdrawn from a situation because they have seen clarity into that situation. It could be a friendship, it could be a marriage, it could be a friendship, it could be anything. But th that person is withdrawn, or you are withdrawn from that person because you have seen the truth. Or even their intention for you in this relationship all right so this person could be keeping secrets not wanting to talk or explain to you exactly how they feel about you so you withdraw yeah this person was all about the thrill wanting to chase the thrill they um, weren't using their intuition or they need to use their intuition because this person is coming out as a soulmate who is now distracted by all the ecstasy that they chase and the thrills and the excitement and good times only that they look forward to. Yeah, they are thinking of a new beginning with you to try again, to go into a new direction, to start over. They're wanting to rekindle something. But their energy could actually shock you because you weren't expecting them to behave or to be who they are after you have seen the clarity about this person yeah this person know and feel very bonded to you and they know they should somehow confide in you because you were your soulmate it was a deep love this was a unity between you both it was a strong connection yeah they saw your beauty they see the beauty in you they know who you are and they know you were charming, very graceful, and kind-hearted. They know that you are now healing from all the pain and hurt and everything that they cause you. They know you're healing from them and you're releasing, purging, and cleansing yourself from anything, anyone that no longer serves your highest good. They know that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now they feel rejected. They're feeling rejected, possibly by you rejected by you and they're still clinging and holding on to your energy for their life because they're obsessed and they're still spying on you yeah they know you're releasing them they know they feel it it's in their energy they know you're moving on and you're walking away not wanting to have much to do with them but as i said before they're hanging on to you obsessed about you craving your energy they're aching and wanting to be a part of you a part of your life but pride is against them their pride is so much to the point where they're so stubborn they're not able to come in even though they are so obsessed or even infatuated by you yeah they know your heart is open so they know you're receptive to new love oh, that's great. anything more anything more yeah still thinking about you they are thinking about you missing you craving desiring you they are trying to figure out how to, or are the possible ways of coming back to you. Yeah, They want to return. I just said it. I said for a second chance. They want to come in to say they have made a mistake and it was a misunderstanding between you both. But um, this person is coming out as a lost soul. Yeah, They are coming out as a lost soul. And they know they were conflicted. They, had, they were too hot and cold. But this, if this was a mistake, I'm not sure what it was, but they feel like it was a misunderstanding. As I said before, they're thinking of the possibility as how to come back in because they know you're somehow free-spirited. You like adventures and you're, you know, easy. Possibly you were easy to deal with. Yeah, Javon. Yeah, I'll be there at, I'll be there at three. All right. I'm sorry, my son called from school. 
Yeah, possibly you and this person might not be speaking at this point because they are trying to stonewall you. They are trying to not reveal possibly something, so they are not talking. Yeah, they know you were loyal and they know you're lighthearted. They know you were the person who they could actually confess or come clean with or even send a message. But they are up there because of their pride. They are holding out, holding on for dear life to their pride. They see you as a family. They see you as a pair as a um as a parent to their child, you know. They look at you as a person who they could build with. Yeah, their heart was foggy and they know they made a mistake but what are, what is going to be the outcome all the spirit what's going to be the outcome it's broken the, yeah it's broken and you were broken hearted and this is completely destroyed jesus are you saying this is destroyed all the spirit is this relationship completely destroyed abandoned yeah shoot all right this is saying I ask if this is this relationship destroyed it says broken shattered destroyed yes it is completely destroyed all right I ask all this are you saying is this relationship over it said left out walk away yes so it is it is done uh all the spirit are you saying this relationship is over for good are you saying it's yeah they're just living on memories of you Holy spirit is this relationship over for good is this relationship over for good? Well, they just told me, so I guess they don't have any more thing to say. They're saying, um, this person is still reminiscing, thinking about the bittersweet times, and then they're, they're now realizing and understanding they're possibly going through an awakening as to who you were to them or how beautiful you were. Possibly they have met onto, into some emotional storm. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit, for just-in-time confirmation yeah they know you, you were beautiful because they are realizing now that where they went create an emotional storm at, and turmoil in their life making them unstable and completely affected so they know holy spirit what's happening with this person yeah they're spying they're spying on you they're spying on you through social network or something you're waiting for an email this person could be having really clouded well they had cloudy judgment i'm sure from the beginning that's why that's the reason they did not well, maybe choose you and they withdraw from you even though they know the chemistry and the attraction was very good between you both they did not take on this journey but now you're moving on you're Having self growth, you're focusing on yourself and you're finding your own self, loving yourself, yeah, to the extent of even loving people. That's nice. Holy Spirit, anything else? Anything else we need to know? Yeah, it's coming out as a divine masculine. Yeah, so you could be, if I'm speaking to you, you could be embodying this divine masculine energy. Or this, are we speaking about a divine masculine who is withdrawn because of this? They've seen clarity in a situation, in a soulmate situation. So they're looking at their time because they know the time is moving away and the time is short for them to make an amends. They want to return and they're looking um, confused, not certain, not clear, not sure how they are to come back because they're looking at you as a secret admirer. They're admiring you, admiring you from a, from afar. This person is coming out as a past life relationship, so you could know this person from a past life, and this is how they are showing up in these energies. Yeah, they're looking at you as a foundation. They're seeing you as a foundation, and they want to apologize to you. They want to make an apology. They want to tell you. That they're feeling cursed, the fact that they have moved away from you, and the fact that they're you're maybe they're maybe thinking that they cannot get a second chance, they are feeling bitter about it, even resentful towards you because they were influenced by others, uh, by others they were influenced by other people, peers, family, 
but now they're daydreaming and fantasizing about you because they know that where they went was a complete um was a complete illusion and now they're real realizing that they made the wrong choice and they had made a mistake so they want to have they want to make to know commit to you they are looking at you they are looking at you being very balanced very beautiful very graceful and they know they are at their breaking point they know time has come where where they have drawn the last straw where you now make your final decision and you're coming out as a divine feminine so i have both persons here both divine masculine and divine feminine holy spirit yeah they feel they're feeling trapped somehow trapped in whatever situation that they are in are you the divine feminine feeling trapped feeling stuck tied bound and feeling exhausted not sure how to turn Holy Spirit. yeah someone wants to escape whatever they want to escape from this en entrapment they want to escape because they're but they're feeling trapped Holy Spirit what is trapping this person what is trapping them Holy Spirit what is trapping them yeah because they were the chaser they're trapped because they were chasing stuff they're they were chasing toxic toxicity yeah so they're trapped in that type of lifestyle why are they not able to move my cards are falling yeah they're not able to move but they're hoping that one day they might they're hoping that one day what's holding them there holy spirit what's holding them trapped what um, what's trapping them holy spirit what's trapping them over there why where are they bound bound and hopeless feeling hopeless feeling like they are cursed feeling like somebody put a hex on their life feeling like they're in on the depth can't even breathe underwater not able to escape they're feeling great sorrow and they want to run away when things get hot like this they really want to run because they're originally possibly they are runners but they are so tied and bound to the point where they're not able to run because they are feeling trapped in whatever situation they have happening over there the holy spirit what's the outcome of this entrapment one card please what's the outcome twin flame finality well you're mirroring each other you're, you have shared feeling but there's a finality to this this is over Someone is saying farewell and you're leaving behind and you're making a, a, um, a closure to this relationship. So regardless of who is feeling trapped and you're, because they're seeing life in a different perspective. So now they want to leave where they are, but now you're creating boundaries and you're saying farewell to whatever this was. Okay, I'm going to get an angel message on the spirit. What's the message you have here for this person who is feeling trapped and bound in this twin flame relationship? What's the message you have for them? For this person who is feeling trapped and bound, how do they get out? Yeah, they need to liberate themselves. This card says liberation. Yeah. They need to liberate themselves to see success. So whatever liberation is for you, you need to open your third eye. You need to use your discernment so you're able to see things. People are a situation that no longer serves your highest good and no way it's time to move on. So collectives, I thank you so much again for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes. Please remember to leave a like, share and comment and I'll see you in my other videos. Thank you and goodbye.